playing trade guitars is giving away this Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul to one of you. How to enter? Subscribe to Playing Trade Guitars on YouTube and we'll give it away when we hit 50,000 subscribers. Hey, welcome back to Playing Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Playing Trade Guitars, where we play it and trade it. How much fun has it been looking at all the best-selling guitars from Gibson and Epiphone and all these brands? Today, we're going cream of the crop with Gibson USA and looking at the semi-hollow Gibson ES335 in a gloss finish. Retails at $34.99. Price drop for a couple of finishes to $31.99. Check that out. And if you're in the market for a brand new guitar like the 335 or any other new gear, use our purchase link down in the description. When you buy using our link, you support our channel directly. So thanks for doing that. Also, make sure you check out our Gleam giveaway. We're getting close to giving away that Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul. No joke, it's gonna go to one of you soon. I can't wait for that. Now today, we're gonna be looking at the Gibson ES335. If you have not seen our Gibson USA factory tour with Jim DeCola, where he talks about the process of making a 335, and that machine that Gibson has had for decades and decades. It's a repurposed furniture machine that has pressed basically every 335 that has come out of production in originally Kalamazoo, then Memphis, and now it's moved to its home in Gibson, USA, in Nashville, Tennessee. Watch that tour, you will not be disappointed with the production process of this beautiful guitar. Extra labor means extra money. This is probably the top dollar guitar out of Gibson, USA but it is worth it because the sound of that semi-hollow guitar is unlike any other. Let's get to work. We're gonna put it on the bench, talk full specs, and then of course we're gonna plug it in and play it. Drop a comment as we go and let's get to work. I'm really excited about this one. All right, the 335 comes with the oversized Gibson brown hard shell case. Let's flip these latches and take a first look at this beautiful gloss cherry Gibson USA ES335 dot. What a beauty. So the 335 features a laminated maple body. It's a arch top guitar, beautiful design. It's pressed basically almost like making a skateboard with multiple layers of poplar and maple to get that arch top design. It's bound beautifully. You can watch them do that with the rope binding, which is a process that hasn't changed in over 100 years. We've got these T-type pickups, these iconic dot inlays, bound rosewood fretboard, beautiful, beautiful guitar and uh, I can't wait to show you what it sounds like. Semi-hollow design means there's gonna be a block, a center block running about from here to here of maple. So it's gonna be a semi-acoustic, semi-electric guitar. It's nice and loud when it's unplugged and it sounds fantastic, unlike anything else when it's plugged in. From any genre you can throw at it, the ES-335 has been doing its job since 1958 when it was designed by Ted McCarty and team. And uh, let's go pull it apart and talk full specs on the bench, I can't wait. All right, starting up at the top of the headstock, beautiful mother of pearl Gibson and crown inlay. You've got these Klusen double line deluxe tuners with the Keystone vintage cream buttons, which look sharp. Cherry gloss all up and down the neck. We have a rounded C-shaped neck. Um, not super slim, but comfortable in the hand for sure. And then flipping this over, you can see the bound fretboard, which is a beautiful piece of maple with those iconic dots, bound body and then a look at that gloss cherry finish. They, always, they also make the gloss in a sunburst and an ebony finish, which are beautiful. Also, those actually have price drops at the moment too, so check that out. I always love, also iconic, the orange sticker down here in the F hole. See that guaranteed against faulty workmanship and materials by Gibson, and that is a orange sticker that has gone all the way back to the original design of this guitar, and is always a cool touch. You got the reflector knobs, the uh, multi-ply pick guard, and then these T-type pickups, which sound really good. ABR1 style bridge on this guitar. Let's get the strings out of the way, and then we'll get some measurements on the neck, the electronics, before we plug it in and play it. I can't wait. Got this lightweight aluminum stop bar. We'll go ahead and move that out of the way with the strings. Get another look at this beautiful piece of rosewood, and then we'll go ahead and get some neck measurements. Nut comes in at 1.67 inches. First fret at 0.89 inches, up to 0.98 inches at the 12. So definitely a C50s profile for sure on this one. Body thickness, if I just kind of pick a point here, 1.69 inches. And then an ES-335 on the bottom bout runs 16 inches wide, and then the top bout with a double cutaway, 11 and a half inches. We'll go ahead and flip up these pickup rings and check out these T-type pickups. 
Uh, we have a rhythm kale T type in neck, and then you can check out the long neck tenon and routing down in the center block, which you can see as well. Center block is there, it just gets routed out for the uh, pickups, of course. And you'll see the same kind of routing when I flip up this bridge pickup, which is a lead kale T type. See that center block as well. So beyond the bridge pickup routing, basically you have that solid um, characteristic of the 335, that solid maple center block down the center here. And that's gonna make it a semi-hollow guitar and uh, is really one of the just beautiful hallmarks of the guitar sound itself. And of course, Gibson was famous for designing archtop guitars and this was kind of the best of both worlds situations in 1958 when it was released. Sometimes it's hard to remember that it's actually younger than the Les Paul. Um, but this came out in 1958 and it, it turned a lot of heads and it's still so popular now. We'll go ahead and flip on the multimeter and get a reading on these pickups. Lead Cal T-Type in bridge is coming in at 7.1. Rhythm Cal T-Type in neck, 7.0. Combined reading of 3.5. We've got the standard volume, volume, tone, tone. These are reflector knobs, the silver volume, volume, tone, tone. And then the controls, uh, I'm not gonna give you a good look at this really because if you've ever had to wire up a 335, you've got to fish the electronics in basically through right here, which is this open cavity in the bridge, um, in the bridge route that allows you to kind of fish the electronics down and through, and then you kind of pull them up through the openings. And I'm not about to take all that apart, so use your, use your imagination. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and get a weight. Eight pounds exactly. So a little lighter than Les Paul, of course, it's lost some of its uh, body fat. So uh, it's wider, but it's hollow, at least semi-hollow. So you have eight pounds on the nose, which makes it a comfortable player too. Go ahead and flip it around for an initial reaction here. And the first thing generally you'll notice, it's loud. And that's the nice thing about a 335 is you can sit on the couch and basically play it like an acoustic practically and really hear what you're doing. And then that acoustic characteristic really adds to the flavor of the sound when you plug it in. Uh, I definitely feel the 50s neck profile. I love having that little bit of extra meat to a neck 50 style where you can feel it kind of in the back of your thumb and then right at your lower joint here of your index finger. It just gives you a good support as you play. It feels great. Too fun. I'm noticing that the action is nice and low from the factory. Everything is set up beautifully. I love the shape of that 50 style neck. You gotta be into that 50s profile, which is gonna be a little thicker than the more common slim taper that you see on so many guitars. But if you want the real deal, I think it feels fantastic. If you're in the market for a guitar like this or any guitar, any gear, make sure you use our purchase link down in the description. You support our channel directly when you buy using our link. Now it's time to plug it in see how it sounds. We're gonna start with some direct cleans. We'll fire up a few riffs and then put it behind a track and let it sing. Let's get to work, let's plug it in. We'll go with a Fender Reverb Deluxe and uh, let's do it, I can't wait.
is one big beautiful boat and it's a little bit of a boat to play but man does it sound fantastic and it really just encourages you to dig in and let those notes sing and wail. The T-type pickups sound fantastic. I like the thicker 50 style neck which feels great. Construction is flawless. Gloss Cherry is beautiful. It's hard to beat a 335 from Gibson. Amazing history of incredible players. Great, great production process that you can watch on our factory tour with Jim DiColo, which is awesome. Drop a comment and let us know what you think of the Gibson 335. Also check out our video on the Epiphone 335, which is inspired by Gibson, also very cool. Which gear are you in the market for? When you're ready to buy, remember to use our purchase link. It supports our channel directly. We appreciate you so much. Zach and I are growing quick. We're going to give away that Gibson Les Paul from the custom shop very soon. Let us know your questions. Let us know what you're buying next. And we'll see you on the next demo. Thanks so much for watching. I'm John. That's Zach. And this is Playing Trade Guitars. <laughs>